if I was as talented as you, if I could sing, if I was this famous, if I looked like you, because you're a swaggy ass dude. You know what I'm saying? I'd be tearing up some hoes in the streets, okay? <laughs> I would be a big tornado. I've traveled with a musician before. Yeah. I've seen how it goes in the yeah. back. I've seen how, I'm telling you right now, it was like in zombie land. You have to fight these bitches off to get through, to get to the room. Like people are like going through vents, like girls are coming through back doors, but you're in a relationship. I'm in a relationship because I did all that crazy stuff you said. I jumped around and all that, all kinds of girls, big, tall, anything you say, you name it. They were coming through. They were all coming through, but uh, it, it was a lonely life. You know, it feels kind of lonely. I mean, I did it for so long. It came to a moment where I felt like every time I was with a girl, it was like that they were leaving a piece of their that bad energy on me. You you couldn't get it off of you. I can't get it off of me. So I was like, I was like, I need to change my life. And I met, I did this video uh, a couple of almost a year ago, and I met the love of my life. You know, she's uh, she's from Louisiana, from where you from? Southern girls, baby. <laughs> yeah, and uh, she has the most beautiful eyes I ever seen. And I said she's gonna be my girl, and uh, she's my girl. <laughs> and you've been together for how long? Uh, for a year. Was it the first time that you had found love since that girl broke your heart when you were? I'm gonna say yes. Her? I'm gonna say yes. And what's it feel like to finally mend that heart? It, it feels good. It feels like God has finally given me everything that I wanted. <laughs> you gonna marry this one? Yeah, I think I'm marrying. You gonna put a ring on that? I mean, yeah, I don't want. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what she's looking right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause I, gotta, like, I don't know, but yeah, I, got, I, I think I'm marrying her. Yeah. All I'm saying is, I see that fucking diamond necklace. You better not be cheap on that ring. Nah, 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 nah. nah. I'm not gonna be cheap. You on better that come ring. through. I'm going hard. I'm going hard. <laughs> I personally think people were ready to see you and Daddy Yankee get back together. How did you put that pride aside? and sit down with Daddy Yankee and be like, yo, we need to get this back together. This whole thing needs to just be resolved. Well, it wasn't hard. It wasn't hard because Daddy Yankee's always been like really good to me. And uh, we fixed all our problems be way before everything. Yeah. Like we, we fixed uh, our problems probably like, uh, I don't know, like seven, eight years ago. And it was ago. cool. And we was just, okay, you over there, you over here. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it's territorial. It's easy to say you sorry when you need something, when, yes. you, when you're not in your best moment. So yes. my mentality is I'm going to work hard. So when I go back and say sorry, you're like, now nah, I believe you're sorry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For sure. You, you, you big now. You got your, you, he, he always was good to me, but I really wanted to work with him when I earned it. Yeah. Because you, you can't. You didn't want a favor. You can't go and uh, be a, playing for a, for a, playing baseball for the Yankees, I say, and then and then you just leave for 10 years and you come back like, yo, I want to play with you again. You can't do that. Nah, but that's not the way it works. Yeah. So I need to earn my spot and that's what I did. Reggaeton music is such a big moment now. You hear it in everybody's music, pop artists, you know, hip hop artists, urban artists around America. But I feel like you guys don't get the recognition that you guys deserve when it comes to accolades and Grammys and all those things. Are you upset about that at all? I mean, it's normal, you understand, because our music is, uh, I, I think hip hop went through that too. Hip hop went you through know? that as well. Yeah, went to that, and uh, it's about getting organized and fighting for what you uh, believe in. And hip hop did that. They fought and they won, you know what I'm saying? Right yeah. now, they because they, I remember I remember that every year of the Grammys in hip hop, uh, when, when Kendrick deserved it, they didn't give it to Kendrick, they gave it to somebody else. And then, you know, the Academy, for some reason, not really friendly with the urban street music. Yeah. For some reason, they really like the what they call what's art, and they don't understand that art is anything that makes people want to dance and sing and have fun. That's art. And if you ever been, and if you could get somebody off their chair, Come art, on. that's power. It's power. You know, so I mean, for them, art is music that has instruments and uh, has a band and uh, there's a tone. There's a tone, and it's opera and it's. Uh, professional music, whatever you want to call it. No, man. Music is any melody that makes you want to dance and have a good time and sing and has a message. They don't understand that. They don't understand it. You know, and they they, they go through, they go for like, yeah, just because you have 50 million views on a song doesn't mean that it's art. Like, what do you mean? Like, if everybody's clicking on a song, it's because everybody likes the song. to consume it. And everybody likes the song means that it's art. You know, so, yeah. I, so I, I get it. I understand what they mean, what they say, but I... I just think us as Latinos and people that do reggaeton music, 
we got to do a better job in getting together and fighting for what, yes. what we believe. Like what you saw? Hit subscribe. You don't want to miss any new episodes of Just a Sip, and you can catch up on any past episodes. The tea was hot, I'm telling you.